That was Vivienne Sets Up Shop from the movie Chocolat. A little bit of a South American feel to that song. And so mm-hmm. we're just about to do the draw for our contest. Good morning and welcome back to the studio. Good morning, Michael. That is such a fun piece. I just love it. And also that movie takes place during Easter, so I thought it was very apropos. Yeah, if you watch the movie, <laughs> we were just kind of watching the clip there. There's a little mm-hmm. Easter bunny in the front window. Well, not really a little. It's a huge chocolate Easter bunny. <laughs> and I see one sitting right in front of me. <laughs> yes, this is our Jack Rabbit. We have Jack different Rabbit. size uh, chocolate rabbits, and mm-hmm. this one is our Jack Rabbit. They all have to have different names. So what's been going on? What's happening this Easter? What are you guys big on oh, this Easter? wow. It's so many things. Every year we do something a little different, and we do things that are familiar and the same for people. This year it's the year of the rooster, so we bought ourselves a really big East, uh, rooster mold and uh, a couple of medium size and small ones. So we've been having a lot of fun with our airbrushing, making beautiful, colorful uh, roosters. And, and one is uh, set up in the front in our window, uh, and it's a seven kilogram <laughs> rooster. Seven kilogram rooster. People, people do get them because they're. It's nice to have a one one piece chocolate that you can share amongst your your family or whatever you're doing over over Easter. So we have that, and then, well. Do you know the Easter Bunny does exist? The Easter Bunny does <laughs> it exist? It does exist. Well, I, yeah, okay. Tell it me about sure it. It for sure does Tell me about at it. our shop. Mm-hmm. And so with every purchase at our shop, uh, your your name is entered into a draw for Winnipeg residents only. And the Easter Bunny picks three names on Saturday. and This weekend coming up? This weekend coming yep. up. And, and before 10 a.m. on Sunday, you won't know if your name is drawn. The Easter Bunny will bring uh, an Easter Bunny chocolate to your door. Ring the doorbell and leave because the Easter Bunny is, is awfully busy. Uh-huh. No time for visiting. So, <laughs> How so, does he uh, get around? He hops. He doesn't, he he is, does, he doesn't he, have a big sleigh. He does. No. He has a smart car. He has a smart little car. little and small and <laughs> just enough to fit, you know, enough little small. Chocolates are small. They're not, yeah. they don't need a lot of space. So you have to go down to your <laughs> shop and every, every time you buy something, you get to enter into this Correct. contest. Yeah. And it's our third year doing this and I've been doing it in my life um, on a personal level for years and the yeah. response is so very I remember that from last year that's right I do remember that now <laughs> okay. from last not because I was on the receiving end but I remember talking <laughs> talking to you about it no, I mean I guess good. we're always on the receiving here and <laughs> you always come by with a few treats in the morning and I look at them at eight o'clock in the morning and go well it's never too early to have a little chocolate or <laughs> no, fudge or something I love Easter for that because it, like it's the only time of year that we make certain things and and uh, we have one thing called uh, eggs and bacon. So our most popular bark is our bacon bark, but we, we prize it in, in a little pig and eggs mold. <laughs> wow. So we do things like that. And then our filled, we have half eggs and hollow eggs and filled eggs and solid eggs and bunnies and roosters and chicks and mm-hmm. lemon cream filled things and little chicks. And it's just, it's very sweet and cute and I love it. I love the palette. This time of year, it's all sort of soft colors and and, uh, and it's very sweet and it's lovely. So are there are there certain sort of trends in the chocolate world? You know, I mean, I'm sure you follow all around uh, the world. There's chocolate all around the world. Are there certain trends that come and go? And do you, are you seeing anything this year that's a particular trend or in the last year or well, so? Well, we started making something the last couple of years. And then a, we, we, we got on some list. And it turned out other people were making versions of it. So how did I get that idea? How do we all get the idea? We must see versions of something. Maybe we're making a similar version of it at Valentine's or at Christmas. But uh, there's a, a an institution called Canada's Best 100. And they tagged me on social media over the weekend for a best chocolate Easter egg. And I thought, hmm, I, I didn't know why I was tagged. I didn't, mm-hmm. like, sometimes I know ahead of time if we make some list. And in this case, I didn't. And uh, so they chose five Easter eggs. And they were, all, they were all similar in shape, but we designed our eggs differently. So I, I think, oh, I guess that's the trend this year. So sometimes I don't know about it until after the fact, like mm-hmm. like in this case. And so what we did is we had a beautiful egg. We, we made, uh, each one is different. So we, we had a beautiful egg, uh, and then we cut the inside of it and different shapes. And then you'll see, it's almost like a Fabergé egg, so that you're looking on the inside and seeing something on the inside. So we've had little bunnies on the inside. We've had, uh, we had made, um, we did one that kind of looked like a Van Gogh uh, egg to us. Uh, it was a, a, a bluish egg uh, with sort of cloudy features on the outside of the egg. And on the inside, we had made uh, um, a sunflower with really bright yellow petals and, and then almost like a bee, a, a bee, a bee kissed center to it. Mm. It was very, very beautiful. And that was one of the eggs that they, they chose two of our eggs and that was one of them. That they, they chose two of the eggs. Mm-hmm. Wow. They chose two That's of our fantastic. eggs and then we had one with a skull in it. <laughs> and we had someone come by yesterday and I was trying to, I wanted to, them to see it and then it was, it was already gone. So we only made one of each. We made okay. a little dinosaur egg and inside little mini dinosaurs. It was so cute with little, little cracked 
uh, eggs on their heads. <laughs> Were they made out of chocolate, the dinosaurs? All out of chocolate. Everything the out of chocolate? The whole thing is 100% chocolate. Oh, Absolutely. 100, yeah, and, and made yeah. in the back of your shop there too. Yes. So for people, yes. I mean, you All know, made by you, us. You've been, we've been partnering up for the last few <laughs> years now. And mm-hmm. so people that aren't familiar with your shop, why don't you just tell us quickly about your shop, about everything made in the back, everything's fresh, everything's oh, yes. made right well, here on the premises. Well, thank you for the, the opportunity. Premises. Thank you for these good questions and, and for a chance for me to tell people about mm-hmm. what we do. Uh, we're on Provence, 180 Provence. We're in our own building and we make everything that we sell in our shop. We do have a Manitoba made section Mm -hmm. of lovely coffees and honeys and teas and all sorts of good things there. But, uh, but all the chocolate products we, we make ourselves and it's all whole foods. And, uh, you know, there's good practical reasons for that. We have control over the ingredients of the quality and as well, uh, we buy such expensive chocolate. Either we're making our own chocolate, we import our own beans from all over the world. Uh, we're Winnipeg and Manitoba's first bean to bar maker. So we've got lots of diversity in our beans. So the, the latest beans that we, we, we just brought in is from Haiti, Venezuela, and, uh, and Argentina, and mm. all completely different flavor, flavor notes. So there's, there's that. And we have single origin and single plantation chocolate, and then our quote unquote regular chocolate. So with that, we do different things. We're the only chocolate shop, if not the only chocolate slash bake shop, that makes a variety of things that we make. We make cakes, desserts gelato, uh, cookies, macarons, cupcakes, and then of course, bonbons, bars and barks and, and beautiful desserts and showpieces. We just mm-hmm. recently made beautiful dessert for, for uh, an event for the Royal Winnipeg Ballet this past Saturday in the theme of the Vespers Ballet. Wow. Very cool. So, so it's important to use Whole Foods with mm-hmm. our really expensive chocolate because you wouldn't want one to undermine the other. Yeah, now you are the voice and you are the face and you're the founder <laughs> of this. Mm-hmm. Give a shout out to some of the some of the people who help you bake this stuff because I every time I go in there I see them. You've got amazing staff. They're so friendly. I do. So just just quick kind shout and out. Good. Thank yeah, you. Go oh, ahead yes. and mention their names. Well, there's Ray and Paul at the front who have such grace and patience with with all the the good people that come and visit our shop and and they also do a lot of the packaging and labeling of our mm-hmm. chocolate. There's a significant amount of packaging and labeling. We must do. And then in our kitchen, we have uh, two people who work, who have their red seals and are very experienced with their chocolate. And that's Robert and Eileen. Mm -hmm. And Robert is, we've discovered, is really quite artistic. Like he's, he's thinking of things. We're doing Taste of the Nation event on Monday evening, and he wanted to make three new chocolates for that event. So he, he and I planned out what, what that would be. They're all citrus flavors. Mm. And then we have Chef Helmut Mate, who is uh, a legend. He's not even a, a master. He's a maestro. He has, <laughs> no, and I'm not, I'm not being, mm-hmm. I'm not overstating the, the, the skill level of this person who's originally from Austria. People here in Winnipeg do know what he can do. And uh, he's, he's he, a few years ago, he approached us asking, hey, would you like some instruction? Would I? So he's been teaching us the, the sugar work, a lot of the really complex skills uh, that we possibly have learned at other schools in Chicago and Montreal, but need to hone. And mm-hmm. he's there on site to, to guide us, to show us, and to help make things. We're doing a photo shoot on Tuesday and um, the elements of, of what the model will be wearing will be chocolate. And so he and I are working together on creating those pieces. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm not going to give anything away, but just, just <laughs> keep an ear out because there's some exciting news coming from them. Chocolate <laughs> J Constance pop, some stuff happening. Really <laughs> exciting news that we'll uh, try to keep you updated as we hear about it. <laughs> so uh, 180 Provence Boulevard is where to visit the shop where you can go to constancepop.com and see some of the stuff there. And, uh, or... If you've entered into our Easter contest, we're going to do the draw right now. Yay. We have a wonderful uh, chocolate bunny and chocolate eggs, and I'm going to mix up this uh, bowl. He's beautiful. He's a milk chocolate jackrabbit, milk chocolate and he's jackrabbit. been piped uh, with dark chocolate on the trim of him. And uh, he's got some He. They are all different, but this one has uh, milk chocolate eggs. Okay, so here we have the winner. Okay. We'll do the draw. I'll pass Lots it over to Constance. Lots of names. She's doing this. She's digging through, and she found the name. Naren Lee uh, Kreiderman. Naren Lee Kreiderman. Kreiderman. Naren Lee Kreiderman is the winner of our Easter contest. Congratulations, Naren Lee Kreiderman. We will be contacting you as to how to uh, get uh, your prize. If you want to pick it up before Easter, it's probably got to be today. Anyway, we'll contact you. Thank you very much for coming in. Constance, it's, it's always it's, a pleasure. It's it's such a, a 
a wonderful thing to be able to be interviewed by you and to be here at Classic 107. And and I look forward to it every time. It's yeah. an exciting thing. It is. And I love when your your listeners come and visit us. I think that's really that's really a nice, um, completes the circle. Well, it wasn't a funny last time, I think. I pop, <laughs> It seems to be a couple times where I've popped in to see you after work and there's been somebody who's heard the show, heard right. us talk about stuff. That's fantastic. I know. It's, I love yeah, that. I like when it works out that way. That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe I'll be coming to see you today. <laughs> Happy Easter to you and to Happy everyone. Happy Easter to everybody and to you too as well. So I'm going to play you a little music, and this is a little French music. Here is Charles Trenet with La Mer. Mm-hmm. 